Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. We've got a lot of important things planned for today, and that means I feel like the game is going to explode, and all of the chaos will happen. So, we're in the fortunate position that we have planned for chaos. So we protected ourselves from it? Yes, I choose to believe. All right, where are we standing as a ranch? We are very early in the morning. Isabella has just sat down for some breakfast and needs wise she is looking pretty good so after she's done eating we're going to have her hire some services now we kind of test drove the maid and the ranch hand last episode I think we are going to hire a scheduled maid and a scheduled ranch hand just because it will clear up so much time for Jeremy to get time to uh, ride and go to shows. Uh, Isabel to do nectar making, them to take care of their baby, which I'm not going to get a nanny or a scheduled gardener. I'm going to do a one-time gardener for today because today is Isabel's birthday and after what happened with Jeremy's, we are just going to minimize the chaos as much as we possibly can. Okay, so we are hiring a scheduled ranch hand. Jeremy's getting a phone call. GeekCon is on. Sorry, sweetie, it is your sister's birthday and we are taking care of that. After we get those things hired, we are going to make our cake and we're going to do this before Jeremy even wakes up so that there will be no sniping of the cake. As you'll recall from last episode, we went through three cakes. Three cakes. That is unacceptable. Okay. I'm going to do a chocolate cake. Simple, classic, gorgeous. Um, oh, uh, Jeremy got that really nice grill from Father Winter for Winterfest. But it was a really hypermodern grill. Didn't fit the vibe of the ranch. So I... Uh, I went and I sold that and I got him the new grill that came with the kit and we got some folding tables and chairs for party times. Let's see if we can get this cake done, becandled, and in the fridge before Jeremy wakes up. The ranch hand is done? What do you mean you're done here? Those look like filthy animals. No, you are not. I guess we're going to hire another ranch hand. Yeah, the horses are asleep, but like the beds are dirty. Th no. Okay, great. And we need to pay the bills, which I forgot. And I just scrolled past it three times. So I guess that's on me. All right. Did you finish the cake? Yes, you finished the cake. So you're going to place it. We are going to add birthday candles. Come on, birthday candles. All right, the cake is safe in the fridge. The maid is putting trash on the floor. Not very maid-like of you. All right, you're gonna clean in your... Why is your high school crush coming? Okay, Jeremy, it's afternoon, wake up. Congratulations on your worth recent birthday. Thanks, appreciate it. Get some leftovers. And then as soon as you've eaten, we are going to have Isabel just harvest the garden because the cake is made. And then we are going up. Oh, the ranch hand's still here doing stuff. I'm not going to question it as long as the beasties get taken care of. We're just going to be going with the flow, keeping it smooth. Okay. Isabel is harvesting. Jeremy is eating. After Jeremy eats, Jeremy is going to wake up, feed, and bathe the baby. And then we're going to have this party. It is 12.30. If we need to start the party while Jeremy is still in process, that's fine. Uh, Aya Farah, what do you want? Do you wish to look, you looked as happy as I do? Well, you have the power. Just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a simoleon away. No MLMs. Thank you. Why don't you scratch favorite spot? No, she fell back asleep. Wake up. Wake up the baby. 
We don't have time. We have a birthday party to get to. Yay! Okay, she is awake. So we are going to do baby care. We are going to feed. We are going to bottle feed the baby. I am... Oh, I can do that. Yes. A at least temporary fix for the problems we've been having with the keepsake box. It can just sit in a Sims inventory. So we're just putting it in Izzy's inventory. It'll be safe there. And hopefully no more ham dinners. Why is Beth's feeder not filling? Go ahead and manually fill that bowl. Because Bess is hungry and she is an old girl. And she needs all of the foods and all of the loves that she wants. Garden is good. The animals are getting taken care of. The horses are sleeping weirdly late today. Mm, I don't trust it. I feel on edge, like chaos is coming. Jeremy, you doing good? Okay. Why don't you... We'll put Lily on her mat and you... Yeah, use that. You will also take a brisk shower and that will put us in primo position for this party. Oh my goodness, look at that happy baby! Now we'll just keep you occupied until the party starts. Not gonna worry about that sink. We have a maid here. You finished your shower. Everybody is good to go. Let's have this birthday party. And we're gonna go ahead and put a goal on this one. Let's see what what uh, reward we can earn. All right, birthday sim. Isabel Vanderboot. Guests. We have a Jeremy, we have a Carter, we have a Lily. Let's see, we'll do all of the Groves, we'll do Danny. We don't need a caterer or a mixologist or an entertainer. And we will have the party here and now. Okay, it's a tip for a successful birthday event. We need a cake. We are taking no chances with this cake. This cake is staying. Okay, Jeremy, why don't you make some party food with the new grill? Uh, socialize with birthday sim, have sims listen to the stereo. We don't. Toe and mouth? That's exciting! Yeah, you can like fitness, but I need you to cook on your new grill so we have food for our guests. Let's do a bison stew. You need to get off the computer. And why don't you introduce Lily to Juniper? And hopefully this won't glitch out for four in-game sim hours because she has to blow candles off of a cake. Oh, I love the hot coals under the grill. Like, I've seen it on other people's playthroughs, but it's so cool looking. All right, Jeremy, why don't you also make... What's the other... Ooh, we could have some elote. But let's do some Three Sisters chili, too. I love a soup and stew for a party food because you can make them as big or small as you need and you can just leave the pot on a slow cook and it's good all day. Where are you? You left the lot? What? What? I uh, Um... Okay, I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna, we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna debug you. I think she tried to show Juniper the baby <laughs> before Juniper came to the lot. Where even are you? Are you headed home? Okay, we're gonna use a quick cheat and we're just gonna teleport you here. Please tell me Lily is still on the property. Grove's house and you left her there? Isabel! Oh, Juniper's got the baby. And <laughs> just chatting to Samuel Oroso with my baby. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we don't have a stereo, but we can definitely socialize with the birthday sim. Nobody's using the party tables. That's amazing. 
I'm so glad I set those up. We're going to put the cake out. And we are going to have you blow out the candles. So, Kate, Jeremy, why don't you celebrate your wife? Well, at least Moses is there for us. <laughs> and Isabel is an adult. Excellent. Oh, my dead parents <laughs> mailed me a gift. Alright, uh -huh. grab a piece of cake. Oh my goodness. And why don't you have a nice little chat with Moses? Ooh. Dominic, that hair is a vibe. Uh, we don't have a we don't have a gaming table. We can't do any of these things anymore because we just don't have things like a bar. Is my baby still in the middle of nowhere? My baby is invisible. Oh good! Juniper brought my baby home. Okay. You're super tired and a little hungry, but you're still feeling playful. The moment your mood changes, I'm going to de-glitch things and... I love the horses being there for the party. That is so cute. You are done with that. So why don't you feed the baby and put her to bed because she is hungry and tired. All right, it looks like people are done eating. So let's put things in the fridge before they spoil. And we have earned a gold medal on this birthday party. Let's see if we can get any socializing in before the party's over. Let's talk to our brother. Let's have a deep personal conversation. It, like He's over all the time, but we never really have a chance to talk. Oh. I do love the way that you can just pop the baby on your hip and go now. Got our brother, we got Danny, so we kind of have our oldest friend in our brother and our oldest neighborhood friend in Danny. Having a nice chat. This is so nice. Jeremy, why don't you put Lily in the back carrier because she could sleep in the back carrier. Oh, look at that in the background. That is so cute. I love seeing these moments in the background. And we earned a gold medal. Apparently we got a new dresser. Well, here's hoping it will suit for Lily's bedroom as a teen. We'll take a look at it later. Okay, it is 10 o'clock at night. I think it is time to... Take some time as a family. Because we have both been running around and not with each other today. Okay. Or, alternatively, you can go pee and then fix both sinks. Because that is also a thing that needs to happen. Well, hopefully that'll get your handiness up high enough. You can upgrade the bed. Hey, Jeremy, why don't you have a nice chat? You don't know Umber? He's our closest... He's our closest neighbor. Your wife has been friends with him since before you met. Unacceptable. We don't like each other? How? No, this this needs to be fixed. Let's... Well, I tell a joke about politicians because it's convenient. Ah, brighten his day. We're just going to talk to Umber until he loves us. <laughs> With the baby sleeping on our back. We'll share the baby pictures of the baby we are actively holding. We are not going to ask him if he's single. We know he's married. We have a... Oh, we can swap baby milestone stories? That is delightful. Where are we going? Guys? You okay? <laughs> that is so cute! Yay! Okay. Let's see if we can get this friendship up. Let's... <gasps> I wonder if something happened because when we went to the groves to meet Moses, Umber was making a snow pal and we went to help him and I wonder if he didn't like it. But we can fix this. We'll chat for just a little bit longer. Okay. 
We made it into the green and he walked away, so let's send him home. It is after midnight. Oh, it is after midnight. Okay, you? You need to put Lily to bed. It looks like both sinks got repaired and we went to bed. All right, Umber, put the baby to bed and then go to sleep. I think we are going to have Jeremy show both horses because while Sybil is definitely Izzy's horse, I want him to have his aspiration. Like, I know we were talking about how we might not have time, but I think we can make it work. Yeah, okay. You, sir, should use the restroom and go to sleep, though. Fortunately for us, while we are still going to use nectar making as our main source of income, though I do want to do horse training and breeding as a source of income as well, um, because I like doing things that you can do in real life with The Sims. And, you know, people make a living in that industry. Um, but either way, Izzy is definitely going to finish her aspiration with the next bout of nectar making. I don't know if I'm going to give her another aspiration or let her coast because she is an adult and there is a lot of stuff going on on the farm. It's not like we're even really spending the satisfaction points that we have. I'm also considering rearranging the house because on the one hand I like the original layout and my preference, my personal preference as a sims player is to add on to houses in ways that you could add on to a real house. It's really hard to get good angles to record with the current setup. And, you know, I'm here for you guys. And I want you to be able to see the cute bubble baths. And all of that fun stuff. Bess is drinking from the toilet. You know what? We're just gonna let this happen. She's an elder dog. She can drink from the toilet if she wants to. Everything but pooping in the house, which she trained out of and then started doing again. And with the ranch hand, really in the morning, we really just need to... We need to take care of the garden and we need to make wine. So I think... No, go back to bed, madam. Do you not remember how exhausted you are for the last several days because you wouldn't sleep when I told you to? Why is Dottie scared? Because Arthur's being a jerk. Arthur, you scared the baby. I'm thinking as soon as Dottie is old enough to show, we're going to sell Arthur. Because he is... He's, his aggressive trait, he is just... He is causing problems. And it's not... Okay. Alright, Jeremy, you are up and you are checking the baby. The baby's mad. The baby's mad because she's tired. Go to sleep. I am throwing a tantrum and I am filled with rage because I am... Oh, her needs are just kind of crap. She's hungry and she has to pee. We are going to wake her up and feed her. Get that done. And then Jeremy can get on the horses. We'll pop at the build mode to put the party things away. And then we'll re have him do things. Jeremy is- Jeremy has to pee really bad. We're gonna switch the parent. Z, you are feeling good, so you are going to wake up the baby, feed her, change her, and then you can get on to your day. All right, Arthur is good and excellent on everything. Good, excellent, excellent. Oh, the baby's hungry, but she's also pooping. So here's hoping after she poops. She will get some nourishment from her mother or the ranch hand. Ranch hand, are you going to feed that baby? No, you're going to clean those stalls. Well, Jeremy can take care of that after he takes care of his needs. Okay, are you feeding that baby? Yes, you are feeding the baby. And you need to use your diaper. All right, I purchased the outdoor bassinet. I put it in Jeremy's inventory. Okay, after the baby uses the diaper... Okay, use, sweetie, use your diaper so mama can change you before you have a blowout. Thank you. Now, change Lily's diaper. No, don't put her to sleep. Don't put her to sleep yet. Not yet. We don't want two blowouts in two days. Change her diaper. She's going to scream. It's okay. Babies, babies... Babies sometimes just need to cry. 
And then after the diaper is changed, we're going to put her to bed in the outdoor bassinet. Jeremy, what are you up to? Okay, you are good. You are going to talk to Dottie and scratch and rub her neck because we really want her to have that high temperament skill. No. Pick up the baby. Pick up the baby. Yes. And put Lily to sleep in the outdoor bassinet. Because you have stuff I want you to do as well. Then Lily will be outside with everybody who's doing stuff and centrally located. We're going to have you use the bathroom. We are not going to touch that autonomous interaction at all. Maid, maid, why are you dropping? The maid just dropped the trash on the front porch and complained about the trash on the front porch. Make it make sense, Sims. No, you can't. And the maid just walked in while we're on the toilet. You know what? As long as he keeps the house clean, that's fine. Wash your hands. And then craft what will likely be the final bottle of nectar of your aspirations. It will not be the only bottle of nectar you craft today, but it will be the final nectar of your aspiration. <laughs> Unless for some reason I don't understand, it turns out not to be excellent. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Did we do it? Yay! Aspiration completed! Nectar making is truly an art and Isabel has mastered it. Those who drink the delectable nectar produced by her instantly know that it was crafted by an expert nectar maker. A sim who has arduously perfected their craft. Isabel should take pride in that. Trait earned nectar know it all. These sims can craft pre-age nectar, have an iron bladder when it comes to drinking nectar, and their negative emotions have less influence on their current mood. That is amazing and wonderful. And looks like Isabel needs a bath or a shower. So we're going to clean our nectar maker and take a shower. And then we are going to craft a whole bunch of nectar and get the racks refilled. Jeremy, the horses are locked in because of the issues with the lot next door. So we are going to have to take our horse and travel to town in order to enter a competition. Okay, we have our Jeremy, we have our Arthur. We are going to encourage training because that will make Arthur confident and confident horses place better in shows. Apparently there is a meeting of some sort of fish club happening right now. No, I don't care what Sienna has to say. Okay, I am trying to do stuff with my horse. Random people, stop doing stuff with my horse! Okay. Awesome. Oh no, something's going on and, and Lily is mad at home. Okay. Enter. Competition. Let's do beginner barrel racing today. That's all the nectar for today. Yeah. I have decided that we are only going to sell nectar on Mondays. Because if we're raking in between 50 and 100k simoleons every time we sell once a week is plenty and that gives izzy the full week to get her nectar replenished we placed a bronze that is just fine all right we are going to travel home and we are going to come back with sybil and do a competition with sybil and we'll, we'll just have jeremy show both horses because it's not Izzy's thing. Okay, we will unlock this gate so that Arthur ah, can go Jared through. Proud. And then we're going to travel again really quickly because we don't have long before the competition stop for the day. So we'll travel with Sybil. Here's hoping Sienna won't try to talk to us and people won't introduce themselves to our horse while we're trying to do stuff. Okay, so we are going to encourage training of Ms. Sybil. Sybil's reached temperament level eight. Excellent. Oh, and they just became good friends. Oh, they should do very well. Enter competition. Let's do the endurance racing because we haven't done endurance racing before. Oh, you're gonna do so good. Oh, 
and we placed gold. Uh, go, Jeremy and Sybil! And that is two more shows for our aspiration. Let's go home. And I have heard that you can do cute interactions with infants and horses. So I'm going to see if I can make that happen. And either way, we need to get some tummy time in with the baby. Because we have not done that at all. And she ages up tomorrow or the day after. And has absolutely zero gross motor. Lily is hungry. Still hasn't slept. I love how we can leave a sleeping baby in her crib, travel, and for some reason the game decides that we need to wake that sleeping baby up, move her, and not take care of her. Not cool. Not cool, Sims 4. Alright, lock all the horses in so they don't go buggy. And we're going to have mom feed the baby. Actually, we just spent a lot of time on Jerry's, Jeremy's aspiration. Let's let Izzy refill the wine racks. I was hoping for a baby that at least slept because I wanted to try introducing her to the horses. Because I understand that that's a thing you can do. And that sounds so cute. But now she's exhausted and hungry. So we can't do that. We can't responsibly... And now she's going to wake up in the middle of the night. <sighs> We're not going to get any tummy time done. Oh, this is just grumptastical. Completely, totally, utterly grumptastical. You are gross and need to pee. So let's get your needs up. Don't you dare pick up that baby again. Did you see that? Did you see him all set up to pick up the baby? I think not, sir. So we've got 16 bottles to get to full racks. And I don't think even at top skill with the completed aspiration, we're going to get two out of each of these. So we'll get what we get and we will just... That will be Izzy's focus tomorrow. Why is the ranch hand still here? Like, I appreciate your dedication, buddy. But you were supposed to be off the clock at seven. Ranch hand asked, okay, we can't, we can't send him home. Actually, while we're in that menu, oh, gardening, livestock, and horse care. We're not going to have him do any repairs though, because we want Izzy to do that so she can upgrade the bed. But he should be going home for the day. I don't know. Okay, Jeremy. Oh, and the ranch hand didn't clean the stalls. You know what? It is what it is. Where is Arthur? You, sir, are going to mount Arthur. Because Arthur is doing really well. And we're going to do some agility training with Arthur. And we'll just keep going until midnight-ish. It looks like Izzy is at least going to fill one rack tonight. Oh, that hasn't happened in a minute. Okay. Talk to Arthur. I tell you, this aggressive trait is a job of work. I don't think we are going to mess with it again. But he did give us an absolutely beautiful foal. And that was what we got a stallion for. Let's direct Arthur to practice the barrels. We'll ask each horse to practice because they are fine. The horses are good. And they will have a good chunk of tomorrow to rest up before we have time to get to the showing. And then you, sir, yeah, go ahead and go to bed. All right, Izzy, how are you doing? You're on the last bottle of nectar. And then we'll have a quick pee and hygiene sesh. And that will get our racks filled today. I think we're just going to let her coast on the aspiration. She's got 14,000 satisfaction points that we're not even really doing anything with. We don't need to crazy fill her up. What do you mean need outside? You were outside all day. All right, go pee and take a shower and then go to bed. Slept through the night milestone unlocked. How is our sweet little girl? Okay, it looks like she is going to come to awake right about when her parents come to awake. Um, so Jeremy, you 
are full sleep. So we're going to have you have some stew. Just having a gossip with Bass while he eats his breakfast. That's right, you praise Bass. She deserves it. Rangi Tehuira. Quick question. Mal Kondo and I are planning on spending some casual time, friend time together. Should I do it? I don't know either of you. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, Mama, you haven't eaten yet, so why don't you change the baby diaper? Oh, oh no, her hygiene's completely down. Okay, Mama, before you change the diaper, because I don't think we're going to change the diaper, I think we are going to uh, bathe this baby. Jeremy, I told Izzy to take care of it. Okay, you know what? Jeremy can have this. Bottle feed the baby. Give the baby a bath. And then we'll get you started. We'll have you ask the horses to train and do a little bit of work with Dottie. And then we will get going on some tummy time. Lily ages up tomorrow and she has no gross motor. So we're going to definitely do some tummy time today. Go ahead and harvest all. Does anybody need any watering or anything? Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, doesn't look like anybody needs to be watered. Arthur is starting shit with Ruprecht. And we're gonna have you do the milking and the shearing. And the ranch hand can take care of the rest. And then we're gonna get that other rack full today. How long do you have as an adult? Days to age up, 40 days to age up. I think we can get Jeremy so that Jeremy aged up. I want to say the day before. Yeah, days. Oh, apparently, even though they aged up on different days, they have the same lifespan left. I think we can get Jeremy through his aspiration in 40 days. Okay. Let's do. No, stop, stop. Hold still so I can click you. Let's do tummy time with the baby because she has no gross motor scrolls. Now, Izzy, craft nectar. We'll do a couple bunches of like four because we don't want to have extra nectar bottles if we can avoid it. You. Oh, little Miss Munchkin. From what I understand, this is like one of the more accurate parts of how they did infants is I'm not a mom myself, but I've got nibblings and the baby being frustrated because they can't pick up their head. <gasps> Yay! We unlocked the lift head milestone. Good job. Let's see. What else we can do for activities? Can we do tummy time again? She just woke up and if we can just like do like two or three in a row before she gets tired or hungry, I'm gonna call that a win. <gasps> Dottie has reached level four of temperament. How long till Dottie ages up? Let's see, Arthur, Sybil, Dottie. Two days to age up. After we do our second tummy time, we are going to do infant interactions with the horses. Good job, Izzy. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, let's pick up that baby and actually let's, let's put on some outdoor clothes. And if you put down that baby, so help me, I will grump at you so very hard. We are going to... How do we do this? We're gonna pick up the baby and then we will see because I I have heard but not seen that you can have really cute and sweet interactions with infants and horses. Where is introduced to? Because even if you can't do it with the horses, that should be an option because the maid's here. Maybe we can do it through the horse. Courage to socialize with Sim. You can't encourage to socialize with... Hmm. Can we 
You, sir, bring the baby outside. Okay, we still can't encourage to socialize with the baby, but with Lily... <gasps> you can babble at Sybil! No, no, Jeremy, Jeremy, let this happen. Where are you going with the baby? Jeremy, come back! I just adopted a baby. That's wonderful. We'll deal with that tomorrow. Jeremy! No! Don't you dare put the baby down outside so she can play with the horses unsupervised! Okay, you may pee, but then you are taking that baby outside to play with the horses. How are you doing on the wine? You're still in it. You're still thick in it. I am so deeply upset right now. <laughs> How dare you not leave your baby outside with the horses? Okay, you are going to go here with the baby. Why are both of you sad? Your needs are all amazing. Your needs are all amazing. You can just be sad, I suppose. What? This is cursed. This is cursed. Sir, pick up our baby. Bye, Carter. Sorry we couldn't hang out more. Glad you ate our food. Just like a little brother. Okay. You are going to pick up the baby. You are going to take the baby to wherever Sybil is. Okay. Go here. Now you, little miss, are gonna smile at Sybil. Okay, apparently this is a thing that is done from the ground. That is just fine. Nope, Sybil, come back. We are going to make this happen. Oh, our needs are bad. <gasps> Sybil's backing up. Sybil's backing up. Is she in range? Okay, smile at Sybil. And babble at Sybil. Izzy, so help me God, no. Don't touch the baby. Izzy, go over there. No, 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 no. Put the, put the baby down. I am nearing the end of recording time. So what's going to happen? And then we're going to call this episode here. And we are going to start next episode with the socializing of the baby. <laughs> because she ages up tomorrow. Now I know how to do them, so it should go quick and smooth, right? No. No, it, it's never quick and smooth with the Sims. So, we will start there next e episode. And we will take it from there, because we are just out of time. We... I mean, we are planning to have another child. And we could technically probably do it with that baby, but I don't want to wait. I am impatient. So, stop talking to your wife and take care of the baby. Because now that I want you to take care of the baby, you won't. This is... This game works perfectly. No glitches. Everything is always smooth. But I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you for sharing this chaos with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are, whoever you are. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. And have a wonderful time zone wherever you are. And if you are so inclined, please give a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I will see you next time.